So now I want you to know that my circumstances have turned out for the greater purpose of the gospel. All the crappy stuff I've been going through, all the difficulty in my life has only benefited me. Like even behind me, like down here is um, uh, Alfred Harold Highway. And as it was raining and I was driving out here, I can remember the day the doctor released me to ride my bike and I told him there's a race in two weeks. And he said, go ahead and do it if you can take the pain. And I showed up to race and I start warming up and this guy comes up to me and just starts complaining, running his mouth. I mean, I thought, gosh, you're really gonna ruin my day, man? <laughs> But I just said, you know, I ignored him and I moved on and the race started and it just starts raining. And I mean like raining, raining. And I'm on my bike and I just remember going like, it's so awesome. I get to race in the rain for my first race back. And what a witness to like God and what he did in my body. Cause I healed really fast crushing my ankle. I mean, I think it had only been about a month since the um, reconstruction surgery and I was racing my bike. And not only was I racing, I decided that day I could PR the course. I was like, I'm gonna do it. And uh, I just start cranking on the pedals. And I would say there was a tailwind, but then that would take away the credit from God healing me so fast. There was no tailwind. I was just, healed like restored and pushing it to the max and I PR'd that day I did a really good time some people who thought they were gonna beat me that day because I had crushed my ankle not too long ago they lost and um, but for me it was like the difficulty is what made that day so special my good friend Derek Smith maybe I'll post the picture at the end of this video he captured the moment where I'm just pushing, I'm halfway back, and I'm just pushing and giving all I got. And God bless you. So don't think because you're going through something difficult that nothing good can come out of it. All these mountains behind me, like I've been to the top of them, and I'm excited because the difficulty is what makes that so much fun to get to the top. Like when you get to the top, there's no other feeling. A couple weeks ago, I was climbing a mountain with my friend John, uh, and he's a pastor at Baker, Baker uh, uh, Rosedale Christian Church and, um, oh, Rosedale Bible Church. And it was so difficult to get to the top. The last two miles were dreadful. And we got to the top though, and let me tell you, we had to hike two miles to get to the top in the snow, 32 degrees. But when we came down, it felt like it was 50 degrees when it was still 32 degrees and it didn't seem that hard. <laughs> but we made it back and it's just that. That verse today just got me like, Paul's telling people like the difficulty, I'm in prison, I'm going through hard times, but it only makes it more powerful for the message that God put in me. If I didn't go through anything hard, how valuable would my message be? I hope you guys have a blessed week and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.